There are two things every lazy person wants to know. What's the fastest and easiest way to get a good grade and how to be motivated to do it. So first, I'm gonna teach you like my special routine that to be motivated that I use the last couple of weeks of uni before exams. So basically I always found that my laziness skyrocketed when I was tired, when I didn't have sleep the night before. So my strategy to bring those energy levels right back up is instant coffee and water. It will honestly be the like, one of the most bitter things you've ever tasted like in this planet. But I promise you, it will save your life in literally every situation. Obviously at the start when my friend asked me to do it, you know, I was skeptical. Obviously I'm like, oh, coffee's bad for you. You know, I want to be drug free type, <laughs> type of guy. But then you look at the science behind it, just instant coffee and water itself, just no sugar, no milk, no nothing, is insanely healthy. And if you drink Coke and soda, all those kind of things, it's like not even comparable in terms of health. Okay, so now you are motivated, energized. What's the easiest way to get straight A's? Now, when you're lazy, obviously you want the fastest and quickest way. And I'm telling you, it only requires two study techniques. All right, let's taste ass. The two study techniques are pre-studying and applying your learning. Applying your learning isn't specifically a study technique, but more so like a range of things, you know, like practice tests, practice problems. So the idea is before every class, what you want to do is study all the content, learn everything. Use ChatGPT, ask it to explain this concept to you as if you're a five-year-old. You know, ask your peers, watch YouTube videos, do whatever you can do in order for you to learn this stuff beforehand. This way, right? During the classes you attend, you literally naturally pay more attention because you know what is going on. It won't just be another class where you just sit there and just don't do anything. This will make sure that every class you have, since you already know the content, everything you're doing after is just revision. So each class is going to be extra revision to put it into your long-term memory. And then you can apply the second technique by literally just going home and doing practice problems. But then you might be confused like, Addison, I'm still lazy. Uh, you've given me strategy on top of strategies on top of strategies how is that supposed to help me now what you lack all right what a lazy person likes what i lack is that i like well purpose reasoning and clarity okay what i mean by is i can give you a really good example is say a day or two days before an exam you can study really well you're motivated and you you like lock in and it's because you have a reason right if you don't study you will fail, okay? You want to at least pass. So that's why you study the day before exam. You have a reason to. But then when it's like weeks before an exam and you have like all the time in the world to prepare for it, what do you do? Nothing, right? One, it's not that important. I don't have a reason to study. I don't need to right now, right? Who cares? And number two, well, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. And that's the thing about lazy people. Right? All you need to do is have a reason and have very clear goals on what to do. It's why I gave you these three things to do. I'm not overloading you with strategies. I'm just telling you, you're probably lazy because you're tired. Okay, get some sleep. And I'm telling you the disgusting coffee I just finished is going to save your life. Number two, pre-study or pre-learn everything you can before every single class. So then you also like optimize those times in classes. Because right? I know if you're lazy and if I'm lazy, then we both know we don't do anything in those, like in our class, respective classes, right? And number three, okay, after it, I want you to do practice problems, you know, apply the learning. Even if it's for 30 minutes straight after the class, it, does, it doesn't require much. And that's all you need to do to get straight A's. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. You know, it'd be great if you could like, comment, and subscribe, you know. You know it, you have to, you know what I'm saying? You have to. And if you want to, you can join my Discord as well. I'll I'll be active on it. I don't worry. I'll be active on it. But there's also a reason why I want to make this last segment of the video. It's because there's two things that I low-key need, I, I need to clarify to you. Now, if you ever get to know me even more on a personal level, right? Like, I'm saying all my friends who might be watching this and stuff, you'll be like, Addison, man. You don't get straight A's. Why are you making this video, right? There's people out there on YouTube who's like making thousands of videos and for good reason, because they're like top graduate from Harvard or something. Me, 
Nah, bro. I'm, I'm not top graduate from anything. Right, this year, my first year of university, did I get straight A's? No, I didn't. I, I'm far from it. Okay, it doesn't mean I was failing. I, I didn't fail my classes. But what I mean is, I didn't consistently get straight A's. All right. Obviously, in uni, like we do high distinction, distinction, blah blah blah. I didn't get straight high distinction. Like definitely didn't. So what makes me like able to like make this kind of video still and you know why you should listen to me well here's the thing okay this whole year i tried like really hard to re like re like position my ego okay because obviously in year 12 like i made that video you know the how to effectively study the night before right and i was so like i was so like oh bro i'm like a top study nerd now Oh, I'm, like my the ego got to me. Okay, it went really well. The ego got to me, and so this whole year, when I f like didn't do that well in a particular exam or something, you know, I felt like damn, bro, like what the fuck? I thought I used all the study strategies that I gave out. Like, what's going on? So clearly, this year I re, I re like thought about it, and I just want to like tell you guys, genuinely, all the strategies that helped me like get back on my feet. You know, like on my academic venture, like what really, really helped. I was really, really tired and I realized just coffee and water, no matter how disgusting it is, it's like this crazy remedy and it's super healthy as well. And number two, you must learn everything before classes because I, I was wasting my class. I was sleeping in class because I didn't know what the hell is going on. But those like specific days where I actually like learned beforehand, it really helped out. And the third strategy, practice problems the reason why it works so well is because the what's that you're kind of like f applying your learning right you're creating like different neurological pathways so that's why i'm suggesting these three to you i'm not overloading stuff like that you know like i said before that's why it works okay and obviously you're you're your own person i want you to have your own judgment but i just also wanted to tell you like the type of person i am like obviously i'm coming from like a person who's not getting straight A's, so I'm just letting you know this. But the second thing is like, listen, okay, I know some of you guys like to watch these study videos, uh, some of you guys like to watch one of m like my other videos, and then you realize, damn, I watched it, but I didn't get a straight A. Addison, are you lying? Like, oh, I watched that video on how to get A+, and I didn't get A+, is he lying? <clears throat> Let me tell you something, right? Academics and grades in general is almost like a chance game. Okay, the more you study, the more you increase your chances of getting a high grade, okay? And you understand that no matter how hard you study, there is a possibility you won't get a high grade. There is a possibility that there's some wacky question they throw in there and that will could like possibly destroy your whole mood. I don't want you to have one test where you do, you study really hard for, do ass, and then the second test you're like, you know what, give up. You need to understand that if it feels so easy for everyone to just like oh study certain concepts and boom get A plus, everyone would be doing it. But no, because people know that every single test there's things on it that require you to really apply that learning to really understand it. That's why the third strategy really helped, right? You're really applying that learning into practice problems. Now that's what will get you your A, and that's all I wanted to kind of clarify. You know, I know I'm like there's like not much editing in this last kind of segment but I think it needed to be said okay I, I feel I'll feel bad if I don't you know tell you guys like oh I'm not getting straight A's like it's, it's kind of stupid that I made this video but also I am professional laziness guy so you know I'm trying to work on it anyway that's it uh, stupid. Uh, see ya.